hello guys uh, welcome to today's task so today we are going to install the crony package on all the three application servers and then start the cron d service we are also going to add an entry in the cron tab for the root user so let's get started first i am running the command yum install crony hyphen y this installs the crony package Once this is done, I am trying to enable the cron d service and also start it. The and and denotes that you can run two commands in a single command. Once that is complete, uh, we want to edit the cron tab using the command cron tab hyphen e. Let's look at the entry which we have given. Star by phi denotes that the script should run for every five minutes so if you are not using by over there it means that the script is going to run phi at early every hour at five minutes that means 12 5 1 5 2 5 in in that case so once that is done we are going to perform the same task in the other two application servers as well if you think the video is helpful please click on like subscribe and hit on the bell icon also if you need some video on particular technology or just say you know more understanding on the cron tab itself just let me know in the comment section i can make a video and i'll be happy for it and what exactly is a cron tab so cron tab is a service where you have to give an entry which can automate automatically run a particular script or anything as such at that particular time and cron tab can be run for any user it is not just for root you just need to switch to the particular user and uh, issue the command cron tab hyphen e and put in the entry and also make sure that the when the for the cron tab to run the server should be up so if the server is down at the time where the cron tab has to be run and the server comes up after that time the just make sure that the cron tab doesn't actually start once the time is over for that particular case we have a different job called as add job or the acronym I'm performing the same steps in the other two application servers. Click confirm. Thanks for joining me today. See you in the next one.